So the first question I want to ask is if Mercy and Billy Exo has nothing, like they're not dating, they don't have any other kind of relationship besides a platonic relationship, why would she travel to London to go and have a good time with him without EK? Question of the video. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So today on Mercy and Ike's show, you know, I had to think and I somehow to some extent, I was sharing Ike's pain as well. You know, so today on the show, Ike was really worried. He had a conversation with uh, Mercy's sister, had the conversation with his cousin, had the conversation with his friend at the club, also had a conversation with his gym instructor about Mercy's lifestyle and all her activities, you know, at London where she traveled to now remember in last week's episode that was episode three um i informed you guys that mercy said she wanted to take a break she needed a break she needed to rest and she wanted to travel to london and Ike was telling her to postpone the trip so that both of them could go together but she refused she said no that all the brands that she works with she had already informed them that she was going to travel and they gave her that time to travel so she couldn't postpone the trip you know so Ike felt bad about it um if you want more information about that particular episode um check the card that's hovering above my head and you will find that episode but um on today's episode you know Ike was really really upset because pictures were coming up about Mercy and Willy Exo. Willy Exo is the guy that she went to go and and see um, in London you know so both of them they were all cozy lovey-dovey and all of that and even a lot of people saw their pictures saw videos of them so them going on shopping sprees so them going for dinner you know and people were asking questions i was also asking questions like why are these people so close are they dating is there something that's going on between them that people do not know you know so um it was a cause for worry for Ike as well and Ike was very very upset about it you know so he had a conversation with Mercy's sister you know like why is Mercy all lovey lovey up close and personal with this really exo guy you know what's going on between them and as usual now blood will support blood you know that's never bringing light again anyways i'm not putting on my light <laughs> as i was saying guys so um, mercy's sister as usual was supporting mercy that look both of you are not married uh let her express herself you know and mercy's sister said something very very interesting you know and what she said i mean it's it's not um news it's not news anymore that most of these um celebrities most people generally on social media they tend to post unnecessary pictures about themselves because they want to stay relevant and those were mercy's sister's actual words you know she told um ek that look if she doesn't give it to them how would they take it she has to be posting all these pictures she has to be posting pictures about her life about her activities and everything that she's doing you know in private and all of that so that people will see if she doesn't give it to them how would, she, how would they take it if she doesn't post those pictures how will she remain relevant and i'm like eh so because she has to remain relevant she has to be flaunting pictures online of herself and willy exo you know and this particular one that actually made um ek really really upset was this particular picture you know of mercy's um putting her head on willy exo's lap you know and both of them going out and doing stuff together you know so ek was really really jealous you know and i totally understood the reason why he was feeling jealous you know because it felt like uh, if you claim that this person is your friend why are you guys doing so many things together like a couple you know what's up with all the shopping sprees and every other thing you know so um Ike also had a phone call or video call conversation with Mercy and she was ranting and wailing about being exhausted being tired of social media that people are twisting and turning whatever she says or does you know on social media and misinterpreting everything she does you know so she was telling EK um, on the phone call that she wanted to deactivate her instagram account and i'm like in your dreams you can you leave instagram <laughs> you know no but seriously guys she was saying that oh she wants to deactivate her instagram account she's tired of all the false information all the backbiting and all the things people are saying about her you know and Nikki was trying to encourage her and was even reassuring her that look he's not going to leave her for anything in the world he loves her he's not going to leave her blah 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 and babe was actually in london chilling okay so another thing that was really really interesting to me was when ek's um cousin called him on a video call both of them were having conversations and the cousin was also telling him that look 
mercy does not deserve you look at the way she's going around with different men you know taking pictures doing videos flaunting it on social media mercy does not respect the fact that both of you are in a relationship you know the cousin was advising him and ike was like and that um she's just living her life and all of that and the cousin was like no that a lot of people are saying things people are talking people are complaining about mercy's lifestyle and all of that and he even told ike that look that there are women that have been coming to him telling him that they want to sponsor ek they want to do things for ek you know so ek was saying that oh that he doesn't mind going into any kind of business relationship with anybody that he's actually looking forward to that you know but then ek was saying that um he will go into business relationships with people but um he has so many opportunities ever since he came out of big brother niger you know the show he has been getting a lot of offers he has been getting a lot of people coming to him saying they want to to sponsor him they want to take care of him so many offers but then he said one of the reasons why he has been rejecting so many offers was because he respects himself as an individual he doesn't want to be a toy boy you know per se and he also respects you know his relationship with mercy you know and then there i was thinking that okay so here is ek saying that okay my neighbors from another company just turned on their generator sorry about the noise guys just bear with me i'll soon be done so as i was saying um you know so i was thinking that okay here is ek ek respects mercy he wouldn't do anything to hurt her feelings he wouldn't do anything to disrespect her and then there she is you know going to london you know spending time with really exo you know so i'm thinking who is respecting who in this relationship i do not understand does it really make sense at all you know um so another scene which was actually the last scene that got me really really shook you know was the scene where Messi returned from london you know and she was having a conversation with her and um, with um, her sister and her immediate elder brother you know so um, her sister was telling her um, about the conversation that they had with ek and the sister was upset really upset in fact guys let me not lie to you this is the first episode that I'm actually seeing Mercy's sister being overly expressive, you know, and bringing out all her guns and arsenal to defend Mercy and fight for Mercy, you know, tooth and nail like that, you know. So the sister was saying that, uh -uh, that why would um, EK be monitoring Mercy like that? That they are not married, it's just a relationship, you know. So Mercy too was being adamant and saying, and eh, that she's not married. Why would EK be monitoring her? Why would EK be saying that she shouldn't do what she wants to do? That can she have male friends? Can't she have friends? Willie really Exo is her friend, blah blah blah. And Mercy's sister too was also very upset. You know, the sister too was supporting Mercy and even went as far as telling Mercy that look, if this is how EK is going to be monitoring you in this relationship, then I'm not in support of people's relationship at all. Why will you people be why will EK be saying that you shouldn't have male friends? Why will EK be saying that you shouldn't live your life? You should live your life, you should do what you want to do. I'm like, eh? So in as much as mercy and ek claim to be in a relationship look guys i'm not saying that it's not allowed for people to be in a relationship and then not have friendships with the opposite sex you know but then that's another food for thought you know you are in a relationship with someone you have a friend and then you decide to go on an international trip with that with a a friend of the opposite sex you know and then you go on a trip with that person and you guys are not just taking you know coded pictures not like really coded pictures but you guys are not taking friendly pictures you guys are actually taking pictures that make it look like both of you are a couple so what do you expect people to think what do you expect Ike to think? I mean, if I were to be in Ike's shoes, I would definitely think the same thing. I'll be jealous, you know, because first of all, you you are my girlfriend as you claim or as we claim, yeah, and you, you said you wanted to travel abroad. I told you to postpone your trip, you know, hold on, let me get my own visa and get my own time to so that we can go together and then you say no and then you travel abroad to meet a man, another man who I do not even know right and then you're going on shopping sprees you're doing stuff you're having a good time you're chilling with this guy you know and you are also being all cozy and loving up with the guy what do you want me to think you know so um i could totally relate to how ek was feeling you know and for me oh guys this is my own opinion i felt like that was very very insensitive of mercy and her sister and her brother honestly because imagine if ek was the one that did what mercy did i am sure mercy 
you know, who portrays herself to be someone that doesn't take bullshit from anybody. I know that of the truth, she's not going to take that shit from EK. She's going to be very, very upset. She's going to give EK a piece of her mind. You know, she's going to come all out for EK, you know. So now I am racking my brains. I'm thinking like, so if Mercy cannot take that hit, why is she giving that kind of hit to EK as well? You know, and Mercy's sister also made a statement that really, really pissed me off, you know. The sister said that EK is not manning up and is not taking responsibilities and is not taking care of Mercy. That instead, um, Mercy is the one doing everything. Mercy is the one taking care of EK. So guys, question of the video. Do you think Mercy is the one taking care of EK? Do you think that Mercy is the one paying EK's bills? Because from what Mercy's sister said on the show, guys, that was all the indication that I needed to just understand that, okay, this is what is actually happening, okay? You know, because I, I found it really offensive for the sister to say, but then, I'm not in their family, I'm not in their clique, I'm not in their niche, you know, I do not know what's going on in their life. So whatever they are showing and telling us on this, their reality TV show, okay, probably that's what they want everybody to know, you know. But then I find it really hard to believe, you know, that the sister would go as far as saying that when EK is not taking responsibilities and taking care of Mercy, you know, and what does he expect Mercy to do? So I'm asking myself, okay, EK is a young guy, it's not like he has built his own business empire, it's not like he's a billionaire already and if you had followed the baby ninja show you would have heard of certain scenarios where Messi had told diane and one or two other people that look he cannot marry ek i think it was the time she was having a conversation with elo zona and she mentioned that he, she cannot marry ek you know that she she's going to marry a rich person i'm paraphrasing now right that she cannot marry ek Ike cannot take care of her, you know, blah, blah, blah. And there was a time she was asking Ike in the house that if Ike wins the money and she asked Ike for 20 million or is it 15 million, can Ike give her that amount of money, you know? So Mercy has made it very clear from day one that she likes material things. She is the girl that likes the high and the big lifestyle, you know? And while they were inside the house, that was another question I was asking myself, like, this one Ike is following this girl. Can you foot this girl's lifestyle? Because trust me, there are certain people you date and you just know from all indications that, hey, I cannot take care of these people. They are too expensive. Their lifestyle is too flashy. I cannot come and kill myself. So I guess Ike has come to realize that Mercy is a very, very expensive chick. You know, he might not be able to possibly foot her lifestyle because trust me, we've seen videos of Mercy when she had traveled to Dubai, traveled abroad, and she's buying red bottom shoes. People have seen the shoes that she was wearing in the house, even the handbag she's, she's carrying and the one she has, you know. Mercy has very, very high taste for material things, very expensive. I mean, in just last week's episode, Ike was saying that he didn't have three million naira to go and clear a car that his father was sending from America to Nigeria for him. You know, so I am thinking now that, oh, um, what does Mercy's sister and uh, sister expect? What does Mercy expect? Are they expecting that when EK and um, when Mercy is demanding for oh I need one million naira to buy a red button shoe, EK should just cough it out immediately? I mean, give the poor guy a break. Dude is still struggling, you know. The fact that he went to Bibi Nigeria and came out, it doesn't mean that he has become a billionaire overnight. Dude is still struggling, dude is still trying to pick his battles, pick endorsements, you know, make a name for himself, create a niche for himself, you know. So I was really disappointed when Mercy's sister was saying that, oh, EK is not taking care of Mercy, and Mercy is the one doing and everything. I'm like, okay, at least dude is able to pay his house rent. Is Mercy the one paying EK's house rent, you know? So I don't know, guys. Just drop your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, today's episode, um, so many People, everybody was just in their feelings everybody was saying what they wanted to say and me i'm just thinking that hmm, this guy messy sister now what for you shall so because your sister likes the high lifestyle you know and ek is not able to give her that kind of lifestyle okay so the guy should just go and pack one side anyways guys they are trying to give us the impression that they are dating a lot of you have come to argue with me on my channel have come to come and tell me that all oh, these people are dating they are dating well now that today's episode is out, what do you think? Do you think that Mercy and EK are really in love? Do you think that the relationship is very, very unrequited? Do you think that EK is the only one that is in love with Mercy? Or do you think that Mercy is in love with EK but she has a very, very strange and different way of showing it? Do you think that EK is aware that Mercy does not love him and then he's just playing along to get things from her? Do you think that these two people are seriously faking it for Nigerians? Do you think that they're actually deceiving everybody that they are dating and then they are just being together because they want to give us a reality TV show? Guys, what do you think? 
drop your thoughts in the comment section below i look forward to reading from you and that said if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel what the hell are you waiting for go ahead and click on that right subscribe button become a part of this family and turn on post notifications to always receive a lot of my videos i will see you guys in my next video i am putting out a video tomorrow so don't forget to watch the video when i upload it i'll see you guys have a good night's rest bye